Hello my dear friends, welcome to Fortran Academy. My name is Harshwats and today I am going to tell you how to import data from Power BI desktop to Power BI service. Now let us go further and talk about the point to be discussed in this video. So in this video we will tell you mainly two points through which you can import data from Power BI desktop to Power BI service. In the first point, I will use a Power BI desktop software to import data into Power BI service and in the second point, I will use Power BI service itself to import the data of Power BI desktop to Power BI service. So in the future video, you will learn how to do that. Now let us go and we will tell you using a diagrammatic expression that how this works. Now first of all we have a Power BI desktop. In that we have a data set and report. So now we want to import our data into Power BI service. For that how do we do that? For that we have to look that Power BI desktop in which we have our data set and report is present in your computer or in that case in my computer. So you have to import the data set and how to do that so there are two points that I have told you previously either we can use a power bi desktop in which we have a publish option when we click on it the data will be imported in power bi service while in a power bi service itself we have a connect to file options which I have told you in a power bi service interface that this option is available in get data option section of my of my workspace now at the end what we get we get our data imported in power bi service so we can say we have a two way but the way in the end leads to Power BI service. So I will tell you both of them and how they work for importing the data from uh, Power BI desktop to Power BI service. Now let's go first to the Power BI desktop and see how we can publish our data and send it to Power BI service. Now we are in Power BI desktop. So this is how our report is looking like and we have a data set here in a field section. Now we want to publish it. So here's the option in a home tab that we just click on it and our data will be published and will be available in Power BI service. But before going that or before clicking on publishing option, we should consider two things. First of all, you should see that you have created certain reports that are available in your data set and you have a data set. So another thing that you should always think of before clicking on publish option that you already have been signed in. Otherwise you won't be able to publish your serve. Uh, you won't be able to publish your data set. So I have already signed in and we have a report and data set. After that we just click on publish. So when you click on it, there is one box that opens up, says publish to Power BI. So it will ask you about destination. As in my previous video, I have told you about my workspace and you can create a lot of workspaces. So you can select from here only that in which workspace you want to send your file. So I want to send my file in my workspace. After just, just select it and it will take a few seconds to upload our data from Power BI desktop to Power BI service. You could see it is happening right now. Publishing project population start file to Power BI service. So this is how you do that. So it will take a few seconds to upload and after that we can see this file in Power BI service itself. Now you could see we have succeeded in publishing our report and data set from Power BI desktop to Power BI service. Now just click on got it. After that go into the Internet Explorer. In our case we are using a Microsoft Edge. We will click on it and we will be transferred into uh, Power BI service. So 
now we are in power bi service in microsoft edge as we have transferred our data from microsoft power bi desktop to power bi service we will go into my workspace because we have transferred the data in here so we will click on expand section you will see you have a report and you have a data set so that is available in your my workspace when you click on a my workspace in a report you will see the report will be generated in here which you have in power bi desktop it will take a few seconds to do that now you can see everything that is available in power bi desktop is available now in power bi service and you can also see your data sets when i click on it you will take a few seconds to go there and you will see in a field section we have all the three data set that is available in power bi desktop so this is how you transfer and publish your data using power bi desktop to power bi service now we will delete this data set and import the data set from power bi itself in that case we don't have to go into the power bi again that means we don't have to go to the power bi desktop to publish our data set so first of all we will remove this data set from power bi service how to do that in front of my workspace in report section we will go click on open menu in the three bar that is available to you three points i mean after that click on remove so it will ask you are you sure you want to permanently delete that file yes so delete that file after that again go into the data set you have that file again click on it again delete that file again it will ask you you want to permanently delete yes again click on it so again go into my workspace when you click on it so again after deleting it you will get into the get data option that is available you in the last part of your navigation option when you click on it you will be directed to the get data page you will have an option from the database and files so we will import our file so now we are into the get data page now we use a content we can directly import that file from our computer to power bi service for that we have to go into the file section when you click on get it you will see a local file that means that is present in your computer otherwise if it is on your cloud you can also use your one drive and sharepoint but we have that in our local file we will click on it and in the document section we have that file in here just click on it after that click on open and it will take a few seconds to import that file from your computer into a power bi service and it will be imported within a few seconds now you can see your file has been imported but certainly there is certain difference between them which you can see from my workspace expand option so we have a data set that we have imported we have a report but when we import the file directly from your computer to power bi surface you will see a dashboard when you click on a dashboard option you certainly will not get anything much because you haven't created your desktop but surely you will get a dashboard option which you won't be able to see in your publish option we can also tell you in future videos how to do that using a power bi desktop also but you can see in here that your file has been imported using the get data option from power bi service itself so this is how you import your data so with this point i am going to end this video and i hope your queries got clear and if not kindly write us in comment section we will surely get back to you and if this video helped you in any way kindly drop us a like and don't forget to subscribe our channel for amazing videos in future till then have an amazing and good day